So I'm riding Huge toy collecting ladies Good or bad or good legends Best or wishes on them all Back in 2007, I went on my first ever trip to America. Did all the parks, Disney, Universal, all that kind of stuff. Uh, did a load of shopping and it was amazing, amazing experience. Um, and I was actually getting back into Transformers back then. And there was a reason why I went the dates that I did. And that was because the Transformers movie, the first live action Michael Bay film, was out in America a couple of months before it was in the UK. And on Independence Day, the 4th of July 2007, I sat in Universal Suit Studios and watched the first live-action Transformers movie. And it was utterly amazing. I loved every second of it. I can still picture myself sitting in that chair... Um, when I hear Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime even, say those words, our world. Um, wow, it was it was an amazing experience. And so I've had a love-hate relationship with the, the Bayverse. Uh, I've watched every film at the cinema, not gone to America every time, mind. Um, and even though the first, I'd say the first three were, were okay, I didn't mind Revenge of the Fallen. Um they were distinctly lacking compared to the first, apart from Bumblebee, which I think surpasses all of them, in my opinion. However, as you know, I collect stuff based on experiences and memories and all that kind of stuff. And I've been trying to pull together a shelf um, to commemorate the 2007 film. And what I decided to do at first was build up that full of... Um, of original 2007 toys um, and I'll, I'll run through a few of them now I've got um, Starscream that I actually I'm sure I picked up this one when I was in America that first time from Toys R Us I'm sure I got him and I'm sure I picked up uh, Bone Crusher as well um, and these aren't bad they're a bit dated now but I still really like these movie toys Compared to all the others, to be honest with you, that from the from the sequel movies, um, I got I brought and I can't remember whether I got a Devastator uh, as it's called in the movie, um, and I I can't remember if I got this one from the states. I really can't remember. Um, and uh, I've got a barricade. Now uh, this isn't my original barricade. This was put to me in a secret Santa at work. This is the one where it's got the headlights thing, uh, the pop out, rather than Frenzo. I actually, I've still got my original one, um, but my friend is missing his legs. I think I lost him in the house move, which was a shame. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I never really got a Megatron because the Megatron toys were utterly rubbish. I mean, there was a, that frozen one. Um, and there was the leader one, which was bloody appalling. Um, so I never actually stretched out and picked up those. Um, and then, later on down the line, I managed to pick up a blackout. Uh, one I missed the first time around. It's okay. Um, and then little Scorpion as well. This is the first time I think they tried to apply some weather into something. I think it looks okay in Altman, but this bloody thing falls apart. Um, it's not the best toy. Um, and that was my display along with some of the little Legends figures. Um, really the past year or so now. Um, and I had this thought in my head that actually, you know what, this doesn't really... I, basically, I was missing a Megatron. Um, I needed a Megatron for this collection, for this display. Um, and as you know, those of you who saw my videos, I went out and I picked up the Studio Series Movie 1 Megatron, which is an absolutely beautiful toy. I haven't transformed him yet. I'll be honest, I probably won't, um, because I bought him for that lovely, lovely robot mode. Um, and it's great. I almost bought the Masterpiece, but I bought Movie Mix um, from the Studio line instead. Now, the issue that we've got is this guy next to these 
you can really see the difference. So I'd, I'd fallen into a little bit of a rabbit hole. By, by finishing my display, I actually started a new collection. And I've made it my little mission um, to, to try and, and, and pull these together. Uh, and I ordered Megatron and I picked him up on the same day from Smith's. Um, and then Dave shot and planted the seed. You've, you've got to go, you've got to at least replace, you've got to at least replace Blackout because he's too small. And you've got to at least replace Brawl or Devastator, whatever you want to call him, because they are too small. And I had a little look at eBay and I stumbled across a seller who was selling for £30. I think it cost me £32 posted. A second hand Blackout. So this is normally 50 quid um, in the shops. No box or anything like that, but I'm not too bothered. Um, so I picked up a black hat. It does come with Scorpionock, which is really, really cool. And I think you will all agree that this fits into this aesthetic a lot more than... I know it's not in the right mail, but, but this one... Um, you can absolutely see the difference. Absolutely see the difference. And uh, then, he says, then, um, I was looking for another character, obviously Brawl, and uh, I noticed the same seller um, was um, selling a Brawl as well. So I actually picked up him for £20. And these, you can actually see how the... 13 years of difference in, in, in design um, and I'll always have a place in my heart for some of these original toys especially um, Starscream and uh, Bone Crusher um, but these Studio Series figures look absolutely phenomenal absolutely phenomenal um, Starscream I do want this figure to stay out on display and I was toying with the idea of just keeping him in with the gang because it wouldn't look too bad um, uh, but I've actually stumbled a, across a, a reasonably cheap a £20 uh, studio series version of him um, so I will be keeping this Starscream out on display somewhere the other ones may be packed away this Starscream is definitely staying out because um, I love this toy um, but he is being replaced as well um, now there is one more um, character that really I shouldn't need to replace because I'd already bought it and that was Barricade and just before lockdown uh, Studio Series were in B&M and I bought a Studio Series Barricade and uh, I sold it <laughs> I sold it um, because I thought oh, I'm not into this line and then I realised actually oh, I regret that and this is the first time I think ever I have re-bought a toy that I've sold uh, apart from like in my childhood that I've lost or whatever. But this is the first time as an adult I've sold something and I've re-bought it. And luckily I picked it up for what I sold it for from B&M. Um, so I've picked up a barricade as well. So I have four of the main six uh, Decepticons here now. Um, and I've got a Starscream on the way. Now for those of you who are observant, you'll realise that there is one Studio Series missing from my, my new display. And that is Bone Crusher. And uh, that is because there is none for sale in the UK anywhere. So if anyone is selling a studio series of Bone Crusher, let me know. Um, but, yeah, I absolutely adore this original toy. And it doesn't look too bad with the rest of the figures anyway. Uh, he's passable um, to be on a display with these guys. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out for him. And I feel a bit torn about what I'm doing because I'm actually replacing um, new things linked to an old memory, um, which is odd because this guy and and and, and this guy um, were with me essentially on that plane home. Um, but I will find a space for Starscream. In fact, I'm, it might actually live on my on my memory shelf over there, which I need to I need to work through. Um, but yeah, uh, so there you go. Um, and here we go. This is the current display. Um, we've got Megs there, Blackout, 
Barricade, Brawl or uh, Devastator, Bone Crusher and Starscream. Um, I'm filming this a couple of days later because basically I hoped that my Starscream would have been here to add a bit more to this video, but never mind. So it is actually the 4th of July today, so it was literally 13 years ago to, today I saw the first Transformers film in America. Amazing. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, I've been Zork Rider and I'll uh, catch you again soon.